Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you so much for the continuous support, suggestions and phone calls. Today vlog we look into a key component of maintaining a sustainable ruminant industry that depends on hay, silage and even utilization of local forages. We will now look at some first world countries model as how is it that they maintain their ruminant industry with a wide variety of specialized hay that is of great quality. Yes. Ole. Alfalfa. Ole. TNA. 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 And it is straight Timothy here. Yes. I normally have three wire, but I'm out. Okay. And how much would they sell a bill for? Which one? I say, for example, the alfalfa. I think it's like 1995. I have all the prices. 1995. Okay. So guys meet up with alfalfa here. We'd love to have this in Jamaica. But they um they'll get the the shaft first. No money. And this is the straw. That was us in a regular farm store in the United States of America. Now we'll travel to Israel. And see how is it that Israel has a total mixed ration system that they use based on forages and local ingredients to supply their ruminant farmers with a well formulated balanced diet using precision TMR machines, using almonds, using soya bean, using corn that they will mix into this general feed and provide to their farmers um, off stations or satellite farmers within their group. Um, pay close attention guys to the model that they use and their dependency on silage production and hay production of quality forage and grain crops to maintain a sustainable industry. All this uh, hay, uh, it's different hay, wheat hay, you have clover hay, and there is uh, uh, some uh, cotton, uh, whatever, leftovers there. Uh, you see the first, you see number two? The first one on the right hand side is the cotton. Straw, leftovers in the field. And this is uh, uh, hay, I believe wheat, okay? So I, I don't want to go there, I just want to go to the silages and I want you to be impressed from the size, from the wall. Wow, it's smell, good smell. Now, it's beautiful. Wow. Yes. It's really nice smell. Again, you remember? Uh, in the harvest time, you harvest the corn or the sorghum in this manner. And besides harvesting in normal knives, we said we have a crusher. You remember? So you crush all the stems. You can see the stems. Mm -hmm. They are crushed and they are, the inside is exposed. So you can see that it's really very good silage. And the most important thing, again, to look at the grains. You can see the, the grains that they are in the right stage and they are very soft. You can smash them with your finger. You remember when we saw the video? Mm -hmm. So definitely the corn silage, according to the amount of what we see here, the grains, must contains more metabolic energy or net energy for lactation than the wheat silage. Okay? So this is very good one. Again, same thing. Very compacted, as supposed to be, good smell. Don't see any, any, any fungi, any other microorganisms. You don't smell any bad smell. It smells perfect. This is a perfect silage. It has very strong of acetic acid, if you notice. You make, it's like really like a, like vinegar. Yeah, it's perfect, this one. The color, greenish, yellowish. It's not brown, definitely. You don't see any fungi, you don't see any anything on the surface. Remember, this is a big feeding center and every day probably they take uh, how much? One, one two, two meters every day deep. 
And how much meter is it? All of it? Well, it's uh, so it's 150 meters. So it is. It looks perfect. If you look at it carefully, you if you you can notice if there is grains or there is no grains. When you harvest it, supposed to be in the what stage? The grain. The milk stage and between the milk and the and dough the stage. stage so if you look at it carefully you see the something like looks like a grain wheat grain but you see it is so it is it was harvested on the right time it was packed you can see it is packed there is no way you see so th this is what's the meaning of compaction you compact it in order to prevent oxygen spoilage. Okay, and the smell is really excellent. Okay, so what he said, one of the things, what, the unique things that they do here in rainy days, because you know, the rain is not going to affect the silage, but the rain is going to affect the dry matter content of the silage. So if you are supposed to take 100 kilos and you have water in it, it will not be 100 kilos, it will be much more less. So the cows will eat less. So in order to prevent this, they cover the face with a nylon sheet, okay? Even though they are using every day two meters, they still cover it in order to prevent from... You see? It's amazing, it's very good quality. Yeah, machines are doing. They are taking samples to the laboratory. They are working with the commercial laboratory on contract that every day they take samples. Every week probably they make chemical analysis for everything but dry matter every day. Because small differences in dry matter content of the TMR can cause a lot of damage for the... Uh, not the cow, because the cow will eat the same amount of dry matter at the end of the day, but for the owner of the cow. Because if he buys 10 kilos as is, and it's not, it will be some changes in the DM, it means that he's losing money. If it was for one cow, it's okay. For one day, it's okay. But if it's going to be for one week, for 500 cows, you can make the calculation. It's a damage of thousands and tens of thousands of shekels. Mm -hmm. So it's very important accuracy, because if after two months, someone will come to the field center and complain in court, that you cheated me, you're supposed to sell me a diet of 65% DM, and I discovered 63, he should prove that the guy who's complaining is wrong or right, hopefully wrong. We can show so you. Can he show has you. to have a laboratory all the time. Okay? So this is what they call it quality control. It's all the time. because they usually puncture in the nylon bags so they put this net to protect against bags from puncturing the silage. How they have this old tires and they have the nylon everything is packed everything is in order you have the number of the bunker you have just what we see we have six bunkers. each one how many tons a lot hundreds of tons in each one thousands <laughs> 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 
Ah, okay. You see this white uh, sheet on the top? It's a net against uh, birds. Okay. Because birds can puncture the. Do you know what is this? It's big. ברפתות, מה זה? זה לא ממש לא מקלטר, אין לנו מה לקלטר פה. אנחנו מתעסקים רק עם המזונות שלהם, אבל ברפתות... אוקיי, זה יוזט דיס. This will be fit tractor because they use a huge amount of silages every day so they use this equipment actually to take a lot of silages from the bunker because in the tractor itself we can see this now live you see it changed the ah no this is not this this is another facility just to go to arrange the food but this one is also can be and this I can way it. go to the bunker and take out okay. huge quantity now one of the advantages of being big is you don't worry about uh, the spoilage of the silage because you use it very frequently you use it in bigger amounts so you are not worried that the surface or the face of the bunker to be destroyed that's why in smaller facilities, the best thing is to do is to use the self. You see what they call the self, the self-propelled mixing wagon, but it has the machine that it can cut. So you can cut from down until up with a straight uh, face of the bunker. So you will, uh, in this way you prevent to spoil it, okay? So let's go to see the signages. It's a It's a Now the most important thing, please come here. And I want you to listen specifically how we prepare the EMR. אתה זוכר את הסדר של האינגרידיאנס? של מי מגייסים קודם? לא, סוגו. סוגו. עוד יותר טוב. וואו, this is also a byproduct. Come here, come here, don't be afraid. It's not going to eat you. This is a product they call it סוגו. סוגו, it is one of the most popular feed in Israel that it's really Uh, make recycling of the wastage of uh, dairy industry. It is a, sometimes it contains it contains a dry material. Okay, it's the carrier. It could be a wheat bran. Could be anything that can observe water. And the other material, the wet material, is actually whatever the leftovers of the dairy industry. It can be yogurt. Mm -hmm. It can be water, it can be whey, it can be the washing water of the pipes. All of it is collected because it's forbidden to mix it with sewage. So there is one factory that at the beginning, when he began to make this process, everyone laughed at him. He told him, ah, what, you want to make a business from, uh, from, you know, from shit? He said yes. And he built it his own facilities. And he did not forget to make a contract as a, biz as a good businessman to have, he will be the only one to collect all the byproducts of old Nova. Nova is the biggest dairy factory in Israel. So now he's selling to all the feeding centers. He's mixing a by one byproduct with another byproduct and he's producing a feed. Okay? Yes, it's amazing because he's using this the dry material can be anything Sometimes he, he use I said order of uh, You see this is the mixing wagons the stationary mixing wagons, okay? So the tractors come whatever the meal is supposed to include and they put the, uh, What they have inside the wagon and these wagons they have a vertical How you call it? Uh, rotors vertical rotors okay 
it's not horizontal, it's vertical. So each one has two vertical rotors. Of course, these rotors have a knives, and these knives, their job is to cut the feed. So the order of the feeds, first we begin with the longest. The longest is the hay, and then after you, of course it works on time. The longer that you are make the machine to work, it will cut finer, okay? So after you put the hay, after that you begin with the concentrated feeds, and after that you put the silage, because the silage is already cut. We don't want to over cut the uh, ingredients, and at the end, you will add again, if you have hay, you will add the hay at the end because you want to keep effective fiber. You remember, we studied about this effective fibers. You want long fiber. So this is also art of how, not only to prepare the dyes, it's also how to mix it in the right way so it will be the most uh, flattable and the cows will eat it and they will have good physiology in the room. Okay, so you see there the tractor. This is a farmer, comes with his own tractor. This uh, wagon, the mixing wagon, it's spilling its content to his tractor, and of course, they know exactly what is the weight. There is here the office. Uh -huh. So, people will see exactly what's going on because they are.